joining me now, Mark Garagos, defense attorney and CNN legal analyst. So, Mark, this is going to come down to whether it was self-defense or not. His, um, he has said he's been charged with the murder, right? Obviously, attempted murder. But he claims that he wasn't right. trying to run over either man. He was trying to escape. His attorney shows, says the video shows that he was attacked. What do you think? I'm telling you, I think this video is a key piece of evidence, and it supports Suge. Remember, you have to prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt. Everything that Jim Blatt, who was Suge's original attorney, was saying to the media right after this happened seems to be supported by this video. And remember, everybody was saying there was no video originally, and this video yeah. seems to support it, and um, it looks like it's favorable for the defense. Okay, I, I'm, okay, it's because if you look, I don't know why the video is blurred. I would like to be able to see it, but you, it looks like they have said all along he was holding something. But why, then why would Suge back up and then run over him? Well, I've had these cases before, a couple of them in L.A., and the idea is if you're getting attacked, you're trying to escape. So you're conceivably, what your defense is going to be is, I was trying to get out, I backed up, I couldn't back up, so I went forward. I didn't know that I hit somebody, I didn't know okay. that I ran over somebody. All of this, all of this, I think, seems to support Shug's defense. Okay. Um, let's turn now to Johar Sanayev and the Boston bombing case. Today in court, there was new video of the bombing that was shown. Here it is. So you, you see it there. It's, it's unbelievable, right? A number of witnesses took to the stand today. Many of them, they, they were without limbs, and they were explaining the horror of, of what they witnessed during the you know, during that day and their current struggles. What do you think this is going to mean, this emotional testimony? How is that going to play? Well, look, this case is not a whodunit. This case is he did it. His own lawyer said that in the opening statement. So the prosecution has got the kind of jury that they want, which is skews older, skews white, mm -hmm. and they're hoping for a death penalty verdict in a jurisdiction that, frankly, has not imposed the death penalty okay. in quite a while. Um, this is the kind of just absolutely heart-wrenching video evidence that makes it very difficult for the defense. Mark, very quickly, I have just really a few seconds left. I want to just show you this. This is Bill Cosby in a video, and he's talking to his, his fans. He's wearing pajamas. The video was accompanied by a short message. He said, dear fans, you know, he goes on and says, wonderful, I hope you come out. But then he goes, hey, hey, uh, I'm, I'm far from finished. What do you think, if we can show the video, but what, what do you make of this video? What is, what's the message here? And be in Wheeling, West Virginia. Well, the Captain message is that if we're right. listening, Mark. And you know I'll be hilarious. Can't Mark, go ahead. I was just going to say, the message is, if you're Bill Cosby's lawyers, what they've done, everybody says from a PR perspective, you, you don't want to do what he's been doing. From a legal perspective, his lawyers are playing it exactly right. He can't talk. He can't get into this. All he's right. got nowhere to go. And um, these kinds of things are just devastating to him from a PR standpoint. But from a legal standpoint, there's no way that he can... He can't engage. He can't, get in. Gotta he can't go. get in the middle of this because there's no way out. Thank you, Mark Garagos. Appreciate it. We'll be right back.